the questions often ask, how do I make time for silence and solitude in my work day? Uh, with great difficulty, of course, there's nothing in our culture that uh, encourages it. Uh, you're not living in a monastery. You're, you know, we're living in active places, you know, separated from communities actually doing it. So it, it takes a lot. So uh, you've got to basically come to the place saying, if I don't do this, uh, there's going to be a lot of consequences. I, I, I would say very simply that without silence and solitude, your relationship with Jesus uh, is, is going to be very limited. It was Henry Nouwen who said years ago that without silence and solitude, it's virtually impossible to grow in the spiritual life. Now, he didn't expound on it why, but the, the reason is because without that, our relationship with God becomes transactional. You know, I, I, I pray. I'm asking a lot of petitions to God. I got requests, but I'm not really listening. I'm not being with him. Uh, I end up, an image of God in my mind becomes created that's almost uh, distorted and, again, like I said, transactional. Silence and stillness sh shifts things powerfully, and your, your focus now is communion of being with Him. I like to call, there's intercessory prayer, there's confessional prayer, you know, there's worship, there's spiritual warfare, but silence and stillness is being prayer. It's being with Jesus. And so, you know, I've written a couple of daily office books, you know, Emotionally Spirituality and Relationships Day by Day, and I encourage people to start with two minutes. Set your alarm and do just two minutes. But it's just meant to get people started. Once you get in to silence and stillness and really this two-way relationship with God, and you taste it, you will not be able to live without it. You, you cannot go back because a part of you comes alive. You were created for silence and stillness. So I want to encourage you, what I do is every morning, now for me at this point, I'll spend 20 to 30 minutes in the morning, uh, minimally. Now, not, not, I don't necessarily start with it. I might start with it. I might be in the middle of you know, scripture or reading a devotional, but I'm going to have a 20 to 30 minute time. I'm going to be still before the Lord. I'll set my alarm uh, before him. And, uh, and I'll have a little silence in the midday and and evening, but I don't set any kind of alarm for it. I'm doing silence actually at different portions of the day at this point. Silence is the background of all of life. It's being present to it. Do you realize there's always silence, but it's behind the noise. I mean, when God created the universe, it was silent. Then the Lord spoke and he created the, the galaxies and the world. So silence is, is not the foreground, it's the background. And we're being present to it. Uh, of course, God has given the gift of silence. So I've been silent in Times Square in the midst of great noise. So you want to begin to exercise those muscles. And again, I encourage you to use your clock, your, your, your timer on your phone perhaps. But begin to exercise those muscles, and you're going to find it's like running around a track. All of a sudden, it's going to get easier and easier. It's going to become a part of you. And you'll say, how did I ever live without this? Mm -hmm.